Welcome to Simple Investing Secrets. In today's video, we'll explore 12 of the best Vanguard funds to buy and hold forever. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. Let's get started. Vanguard funds may be good investments for your portfolio if you're looking to invest for your future. You can choose from a great selection of high-quality, low-cost mutual funds and exchange-traded funds ETFs, and buy and hold them for the long term. These features make Vanguard funds ideal choices for a wide variety of investors. Vanguard offers more than 200 US funds, including variable annuity portfolios and more than 220 additional funds and ETFs in markets outside the US. Vanguard funds boast some of the lowest expense ratios in the industry, which bodes well for long-term returns. Here are the 12 best Vanguard funds to buy and hold today. Number 12. Vanguard Total Bond Market Index, ticker, VBTLX. Long-term investing is often associated with stocks, but most investors will need to have a portion of their portfolios invested in bonds. VBTLX is a smart choice for the same reason as most other index funds. They're well diversified, and they're low cost. The VBTLX portfolio consists of more than 10,000 US government and corporate bonds. The expense ratio for VBTLX is 0.05%. The minimum initial investment is $3,000. Number 11. Vanguard Total Stock Market Index, ticker, VTSAX. Vanguard's VTSAX is a diversified stock index mutual fund. The fund provides exposure to the entire US stock market, including small, mid, and large cap stocks. This mix includes over 4,000 stocks. The expense ratio is 0.04%, or $4 for every $10,000 invested. The minimum initial investment is $3,000 for Admiral shares. Number 10. Vanguard Wellesley Income Fund, ticker, VWINX. VWINX has a long and storied history. Debuting in 1970, this mutual fund survived the 1987 stock market crash, the 2000 dot-com bubble and the 2007-2009 Great Recession to post an impressive annualized return of 9.33% since inception. The fund normally targets a ratio of one-third stocks to two-thirds bonds, but it currently consists of 37.8% stocks, 60.5% bonds and 1.7% cash, as it's between rebalancing cycles. VWINX is actively managed, with the objective of targeting high, sustainable current income plus moderate long-term capital appreciation potential. On the bond side, VWINX holds investment-grade corporate bonds of all maturities plus some treasury bonds and mortgage-backed securities. On the stock side, VWINX focuses on holding no more than 100 large-cap US stocks with above-average dividends and income growth, along with low price earnings and price book ratios. The fund costs and expense ratio is 0.23%. Number 9. Vanguard Wellington Fund Investor Shares, ticker, VWELX. VWINX's older sibling is VWELX. This fund is currently the oldest balanced mutual fund in the US market still in operation. Debuting in 1929, VWELX survived the Great Depression, World War II and all the other market crashes that ensued to post an annualized 8.24% return since its inception. Retirees who find VWINX's asset allocation too conservative might like VWELX better, as this fund targets an allocation of two-thirds stocks and one-third bonds. Otherwise, VWELX employs the same stock and bond screening methodology as VWINX, with a focus on investment-grade corporate bonds and undervalued large-cap US stocks trading at attractive valuations. The fund costs an expense ratio of 0.24%. Number 8. Vanguard Balanced Index Fund Admiral Shares, ticker, VBIAX. For a passively managed mutual fund that follows an indexing approach, investors can buy VBIAX. This fund holds a 60-40 portfolio of broad market U.S. stocks and bonds, tracking the Dow Jones U.S. Total Stock Market Index and the Bloomberg Aggregate Bond Index, respectively. Since its inception in November 2000, VBIAX has returned an annualized 6.32%. The fund is significantly cheaper than the previous two with an expense ratio of 0.07%, but it requires a minimum investment of $3,000. Number 7. Vanguard Target Retirement 2025 Fund, ticker, VTTVX. A great hands-off fund for retirees is a target date fund. These funds contain a predetermined mix of stocks and bonds and will automatically adjust this ratio on a glide path to become more conservative over time. 
A great target date fund for those looking to retire between 2023 and 2027 is VTTVX. Currently, this fund comprises of 33.6% U.S. stocks, 23.1% international stocks, 27.7% U.S. bonds, 12.3% international bonds, and 3.3% Treasury inflation-protected securities. The automated nature of a target date fund can help investors worry less about managing their investment portfolios and ensure better investment behaviors. VTTVX is also fairly cheap, with an expense ratio of 0.08%. The fund requires a minimum investment of $1,000. Number 6. Vanguard Total World Stock ETF, ticker, VT. On the other hand, some investors like to manage their own investment portfolios. For these investors, using ETFs might offer greater flexibility. ETFs can be traded throughout the day like stocks and can potentially offer better tax efficiency than mutual funds. A highly diversified ETF to use for a portfolio stock allocation is VT, which tracks the world's investable stock market. This ETF holds more than 9,500 stocks from U.S., international developed and international emerging markets, according to their current market cap weights. As the world's market evolves, VT will change along with it. Thus buying and holding VT is a great way of ensuring your stock allocation matches the market's average return. VT costs an expense ratio of 0.07%. Number 5. Vanguard Total World Bond ETF, ticker, BNDW. Splitting an investment portfolio up into separate stock and bond ETFs allows investors to fine-tune their asset allocation to match their risk tolerance. With this approach, you don't have to rely on rigid allocations with nice round numbers like the 60-40 or 40-60 portfolio. For investors using VT for their stock allocation, an excellent counterpart for bond allocation is BNDW. This ETF tracks the Bloomberg Global Aggregate Float Adjusted Composite Index by holding more than 17,000 government and investment-grade corporate bonds from U.S., international developed and international emerging markets according to their market cap weights. BNDW is an excellent way to diversify a bond allocation at a low cost, given its 0.06% expense ratio. Number 4. Vanguard Short-Term Inflation Protected Securities ETF, ticker, VTIP. One of the biggest risks to an investor's investment portfolio is high inflation. This combined with rapidly rising interest rates, can cause even high-quality bonds to lose value as they did throughout 2022. An allocation to short-term investments can solve this problem. When inflation spikes, the value of TIPS and their coupons go up. A good ETF to buy in this space is TIP, which holds short-term TIPS with an average maturity of 2.5 years. The ETF has a low duration of 2.4 years. This means that if interest rates went up by 1%, the TIP would be expected to lose 2.4% in value all else being equal. Currently the ETF has an average yield to maturity of 4.1%, which is the return an investor could expect if they held all of the underlying bonds to maturity. The TIP costs an expense ratio of 0.04%. Number 3. Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, ticker, VTI. The U.S. market doesn't just end at the 500 companies in the S&P 500. Beyond the S&P 500, there's another 3,000-plus mid- and small-cap companies worth investing in. As Jack Bogle put it, don't look for the needle in the haystack, just buy the haystack. For a truly passive approach to buying the entire investable U.S. stock market, investors can hold VTI, which tracks the CRSP total market index. VTI holds over 4,000 large, mid- and small-cap U.S. stocks weighted by their market capitalization. It makes for a great tax-loss harvesting partner for VOO given their different indexes, but similar overall composition. It also costs an expense ratio of 0.03%. Number 2. Vanguard 500 Index Fund Admiral Shares, ticker, VFIAX. Despite the popularity of ETFs, there's still some very good reasons why investors might choose mutual funds instead. One of them is the ability to buy units in whatever increments you want. For example, to buy a single share of VOO, an investor would need at least $361.33 as of its December 7, 2022 closing price, unless their brokerage offers fractional shares. On the other hand, units in the mutual fund version of VOO and VFIAX can be purchased in any dollar amount. This makes recurring scheduled purchases and dollar cost averaging easier, especially for set it and forget it investors. That said, keep in mind that VFIAX requires a minimum $3,000 investment. The fund costs and expense ratio is 0.04%. Number 1. Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, ticker, VOO. 
VFINX might be long closed to new investors, but its spirit lives on in its successor, VOO, which also tracks the S&P 500. VOO is an ETF. In contrast to mutual funds, investors can trade shares of VOO on an exchange throughout the day. The ETF structure also provides tax efficiency benefits. The S&P 500 is a benchmark for many investors, and if your goal is to match its historically outstanding long-term return of around 10% annually including dividends, VOO is a great option. The ETF charges a rock-bottom expense ratio of 0.03%, which means that your return net of fees is likely to be higher than comparable funds with higher fees. This concludes our list of the 12 best Vanguard funds to buy and hold. As always, it is essential to do your due diligence before committing your hard-earned cash to buying stocks or investing in the market. Which of these Vanguard funds would you like to add to your investment portfolio? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates on the best stocks to buy and cutting-edge investment strategies for building wealth. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with your investments.